Hello everyone, hello and welcome to a brand new video here on my channel. Today we're back the Love Island the Game Season 4, otherwise known as the Bombshell Season. And this is episode 38. If you don't remember, in the last part, two new boys entered the villa. You can always check it out in the playlist above. And I'm excited to get to know them both. Jade is about to go on a date with both the new boys. Let's see what happens. This is episode 38, Me Tarzan, You Date. You head to the treetops for a pair of thrilling dates with two dashing boys. Welcome back to Love Island. Last time we welcomed two new arrivals to the villa. I like cats and tats, and both wanted a slice of jade. That Oliver is a deep dish, his eyes are so dreamy. Like mozzarella clouds. I'm sorry, Yusuf. I still adore you. Anyway, how will Jade handle the dates tonight? I'm sure we can find a way to get sweaty together. Let's find out. Oh, this is so beautiful. Why are we in swimsuits? <laughs> Dylan waits on the path, leaning on a large tree. He grins excitedly. Hey. Hey. Happy you made it, gorgeous. Thought I'd have to come in and sweep you off your feet. White horse and all. Dylan winks at you. Why a white horse? Prince Charming always has a white horse. That's who he reminds me of. He reminds me of this guy from Into the Woods, played by Chris Pine. That's who this character reminds me of. Dylan considers himself a Prince Charming. That's, that's cute. Dylan smirks, bowing playfully. A king will always respect his queen, especially if she's his type. Ah. Ready to start the tree walk? Eager, aren't we? He winks. I like it. Let's go. You start to walk along the elevated path, turning your head to admire the lush foliage. Trees are scattered all around. Flowers pour from various branches, and you take a moment to lean on the railing. You look down. Scared of heights? Don't worry, I've got you. Dylan's asking if I'm afraid of heights. Um, no, not really. It's just gravity, nothing scary. Besides, I have the high ground. It's over, Anakin! I have the high ground. You grin at Dylan. You know it. Dylan starts to flex. These muscles are not just for show. Oh yeah? What are they for? He gives you a cheeky wink. They can do a lot more than flex, I'll tell you that. Dylan turns to look at his muscular arms. My muscle gains are only to protect those who need protecting. And I want to protect you, Jade. Dylan wants to protect me. What do I need protecting from? Dylan's gaze is tender when he looks at you. Jade, I will tell you further along the date, okay? Now is not the right time. Um, okay. A small silence passes as Dylan starts brushing the branches from your path. You decide to break the silence with some small talk. So what do you do for fun on your time off? I'm a gym rat. I'm there nearly always on my time off. What about you, Jade? Do you enjoy the gym? Do I go to the gym? I mean, the answer is yes, but I'm gonna say not at all because I'm not feeling Dylan right now. It's sweaty and crowded all the time. Not for me, thanks. Dylan continues to flex his muscles. Stop! Stop! The gym is my second home. When you're a pro volleyball player, you have to have a pro body. He turns to you with a smirk. I can always help you out with physical fitness if you want. Dylan wants to work out with me. Yeah, no. I hope you're not expecting Bruno to help you. Bruno's already had his hands full. What do you mean by that? Nothing. Uh, okay. We should keep walking. I think there's a fantastic view at the top. A better view than you, Jade. This guy is laying it on thick. Also, did anyone else get from the sort of like he's had his hands full comment? Andrew vibes? Andrew and Coco vibes? Anyone? I don't believe it. Well, let's get going. You begin your walk along the pathway, admiring all the greenery. Dylan brushes a few branches away from his face. I've been thinking. I've already seen a lot about you, but you've not seen much of me. You should ask me a question, Jade. Get to know me. After all, once you've been on a date with me, you don't need to go on another one. That's for sure. What question shall I ask Dylan? How did your last relationship end? Dylan grins cheekily. I spent too much time in the gym and she decided she had enough of me. She couldn't keep up with me because I spent too much time in the gym. What do you mean? Well, I have a lot of stamina and energy. Are, are you inferring what I think you are? Yep. Because she wouldn't go to the gym with him. That's definitely what they're talking about. For sure. He winks cheekily at you. She also just got too clingy. Texting me, calling me, wanting me to come over all the time. I guess once you have a taste of Dylan, you can't get enough. As you venture further up the inclined walkway, tree branches begin to obstruct your view. Dylan barges his way in front of you and pushes the branches back. Your prince will do this for you. He attempts to hold back one branch, only for it to flick back in his face. <laughs> what was the prince saying? Don't be too sensitive now. You know I was only messing with you. Dylan's been making these odd comments for a while now. I should say something. Dylan keeps giving me backhanded compliments. I'm gonna call him out. With what? Giving me backhanded compliments is not okay. When you pair your comment with something indirect, like telling me my arms are too delicate or 
how I might not work out in the gym. You can really make someone feel insecure and that is not on. Just give a compliment without any bite to it. Otherwise, you can be a real jerk. Wow. Dylan sighs and turns away from you, leaning his elbows on the railing. Sorry, I, I hope I didn't blow it. The truth is I'm really nervous because it's you, Jade. I've had countless flings and bad relationships, but this is the first time I've met someone and worried about how to act, what to say, what to do. Jade, I'm well into you. You make my heart do flips, you know? Dylan's only acting like this because he likes me? That's not an excuse. That's no excuse, Dylan. Bad behaviour is just bad behaviour. You're right. It's just, I've been watching you for a while on telly and I know you're right for me. I can see us really winning this thing and being together for the long haul. You really are the only girl on my mind. Dylan rubs the back of his neck, looking down. It probably doesn't help that I'm nervous about telling you something. I really don't know how to say it. It's been racing in my head since I came here. Dylan's not telling me something. What are you hiding? He sighs. I'm only hiding it to protect you. I don't like to see you get hurt, Jade. Dylan, I am a big girl. I can handle my feelings. Dylan chews on his bottom lip, turning to look at you. One advantage about coming in late is that I got to see some things on telly and I got to see Bruno and Valentina getting very cozy, sharing secret jokes, longing looks, face touching, all behind your back. Dylan's saying that Bruno and Valentina are acting like more than friends. Uh, I don't believe you. Bruno would never do that to me, we're strong. I've got no reason to lie to you, honest. I'm just really worried about you. They're pieing you off, Jade. It's not right to treat someone like that, especially not someone as beautiful as you. Side note, if anyone's falling for what Dylan's saying, yes, something definitely could have happened between Bruno and Valentina. No one deserves this. No one. Dylan takes a step towards you, his eyes full of worry. Jade, Dylan gently tips your chin up. I'm not gonna play you like Bruno. I'm interested in you and only you. Nobody else matters. Dylan's really laying it on thick. What's the difference between kiss him and lip lock him? I'm gonna offer him a breath mint. I think I have one. Might do you some good. Uh, Dylan quickly covers his mouth, breathing into it. He clears his throat and takes a step back. I'll head back to the villa now. Think about what I said, yeah? We'll do. Dylan gives you one last longing look before walking away. In my opinion, even if Bruno and Valentino have been going on behind our back, like I, before you just make out with a random stranger, and I do mean random stranger because you've known him for all of five minutes, go and talk to Bruno. Probably not Valentina. I don't think it's really between them, but Bruno, definitely you should talk to him. Dylan's words keep playing in my mind. Is Bruno really flirting with Valentina? Are they really messing me about? Is Dylan messing me about? Do I really think they kissed behind my back? To be fair, Dylan didn't say they kissed, right? I should ask Bruno directly exactly what I was thinking. It's useless making myself upset about this. I'll speak to Bruno myself. Oliver's quick footsteps disturb your train of thought. He's out of breath and holding something behind his back. Hey! Hey, Oliver. Did you jog all the way up here? That's impressive. Parts Dylan singing really loudly. Scary. You both laugh. Before I forget, here, he holds out a little flower to you. I was always told never to visit someone empty-handed. Oliver got me a flower. How sweet. Oh, Oliver. It's really pretty, right? Just like you. Ah, Just don't eat it, yeah? I feel like you're talking from experience. That obvious, huh? I once ate a bouquet of flowers thinking they were edible. A bouquet? Was it a wedding? No, no, it was for my mum. I get her flowers every weekend. She told me they were edible. That was a lie. You both laugh. Oliver smiles fondly. It's really beautiful, isn't it? Being surrounded by so much nature is my ultimate dream. You could wake up to birds chirping, a light breeze, flowers growing. I love it. Do you like nature too, Jade? How do I feel about nature? I love it. Ultimate dream too. I once wanted to sleep in the rain. Not realistic. I'll bring an umbrella. How about that? Oh, I love a good compromise. Oliver smiles shyly at you. I really want to get to know more about you, Jade. But I know the whole questions and answers thing during first dates is a bit tired. That's why I think we should do introductions like those Lonely Hearts columns. Would you be up for that? Do I want to break the ice with Oliver? I'm down. Sure. I'll go first. Oliver clears his throat, pulling away from the railing so he can face you with a smile. A 26-year-old tattoo artist from Cornwall is looking for a girlfriend. He likes succulents, dancing, scuba diving, and honesty. Very close to his family, especially his grandmother, may have been adopted by several cats in his neighbourhood. Oliver laughs shyly, rubbing the back of his neck. Your turn. How do I see my current relationship status? I'm not looking for a partner. Oliver's smile widens before he looks away bashfully. And my view on animals is that they are the best. Oliver gives you a thumbs up. And in my downtime, I... What do I do in my downtime? I sleep my life away. 
Ooh, yeah. Nothing like a good nap in the afternoon. Yes, I love that post-nap stretch too. Post-nap stretch sounds are great too. They sound like dinosaur noises. Can confirm, it's true. I usually read before napping or sleeping. What books do you read? Gender and anatomy, study in portraits, colour and its meaning, traditional art books. What about you? What genre of books do I read the most? I mainly read horror. Don't you get nightmares? What nightmares? I am the nightmare. You grin at Oliver, making him laugh slightly. I'll keep an eye out, Jade. You better. I'm currently reading a book that my grandma sent. It's about the history of Malaysian body art. She really supports my career. Even jokes about coming down to London so I can give her a tattoo. Even at 70, she is power walking around the park. She's got more energy than me. I think it's really sweet how she supports you. Yeah, I love my grandma. Dandelion does too. Dandelion is... That was his cat, right? I think it's his cat. Oliver's smile brightens as he looks at you. Thank you for remembering, Jade. Pro memory over here. Literally the furthest thing from me. I have no memory. Dandelion really dislikes everyone but me, my parents, and my grandma. She still hisses at the postman. I'm sure she'll get over it. It's been four years. Okay, maybe not. He laughs sheepishly, turning his head to show you the dandelion flower tattooed behind his ear. Why did I just sound incredibly musical? You got that for her? Yeah, she serves as a reminder of my home. It can get pretty lonely living by myself, but I'm glad I have her with me. Oliver gets lonely living by himself. I live with housemates. That must be nice. Sometimes. Other times it's intense. Bathroom walls are the worst. I can imagine. And don't get me started on tucking the loo roll in or out. Oof, well, I don't really have an opinion on that. The loo roll is an over. It's an over. It's not an under. Literally in the pattern, it's an over. I have strong opinions on this. Good. He laughs shyly, turning his head to watch the trees. Thanks for going on this date with me, Jade. Even if I didn't have much choice? Oliver chuckles softly. I know first dates can be a bit awkward, especially as a late entry. Friendships are built, relationships are established, hearts are already set. I don't want to disrupt that, especially not for you. I can understand by coming in here I might have to break someone up, but I'm not trying to ruin relationships. Going with the flow is the way I live my life and my relationships too. Oliver goes with the flow. Me too. Glad you get it. Oliver turns his head to smile at you. I really think you're great, Jade. I'm sorry if I'm being a bit forward, but I want you to know that I enjoyed our time together. Oliver's happy about our date. How should I thank him? I am going to... I'm going to thank him. I'm just going to thank him. Thank you, Oliver. It's okay. I believe in the power of compliments. Just one smile makes me feel like I got the job done. And what's the job? Making people smile. Or in this instance, making you smile. Oliver, he smiles shyly, dipping his head down. I'll head back up to the villa now, unless you want to take a walk together. Do I want to walk back to the villa with Oliver? Sure, let's go. Let's walk back together. If we're going to walk back anyway, let's do it. His face lights up, though he quickly looks down to hide his excitement. Thanks. Company is better than none. That's true. You both start to walk down the pathway. There's quite a lot of branches in this area. Do you want me to push them back or are you okay? This guy is the polar opposite to Dylan and I'm sure that's why they decided that... Oliver would go after Dylan in the branch battle of the century, apparently. But yeah, Oliver, uh, Oliver's cool. And if Jade stays with Bruno, which I'm thinking she will, but let me know what your thoughts are in the comments down below. I think Oliver and Jade would be really good friends. Oliver's asking if he can help me push the branches. I'm the branch queen. What does that even mean? Watch and see. You start to brush the branches away, only to pull one back really hard until it snaps. Oh, I did that on purpose. <laughs> to show the tree who's boss. Oliver stifles a laugh and works with you to clear up the pathway. Let's get going, branch queen. You see Dylan fixing his hair in the reflection of the door. He sees you walking up and turns around. Hey. Hey, what are you doing out here? Dylan's smile brightens. I was feeling lonely without you. Oliver stifles a laugh. Oliver's smile is so cute. Dylan looks at Oliver, puffing up his chest. Got it from here, mate. Oliver turns to look at you. I'll be by the pool. Thanks for walking back with me. You're great company. Oliver thinks I'm great company. And you are too. Oliver smiles shyly. Thanks, Jade. He smiles at you and makes his way inside of the villa. Sheesh, thought he'd never leave. I was over here missing you. You missed me. Dylan's gaze softens, his smile growing larger. How could I not? You're literally perfect. You literally need to get in the bin. Plus, those legs of yours keep running through my mind. Dylan can't get me off his mind. Oh, no wonder my legs are tired. I could always carry you over the threshold. Uh, not that tired, Dylan. He chuckles softly and opens the villa door for you. After you, babe. Thank you. 
As you walk into the living room, you notice Bruno and Valentina sitting on the couch. She's gripping Bruno's jaw firmly, looking left to right. Yup, I can defo see it. Dylan frowns, leaning in to whisper in your ear. Jade, are you okay? I can't believe they're doing this in front of you. It's not right. Valentina and Bruno really are close on that couch. How do I feel about Valentina and Bruno's closeness? Oh, I I do hate it. I can't lie. Why are they sat so close together? Is, is Dylan right? Dylan sighs loudly. He catches the attention of Bruno and Valentina. Hey, I didn't hear you. You come back didn't want to disturb how cozy you looked i was just giving bruno some makeup tips sure you were dylan turns to look at you smiling sweetly i'll be on the day beds if you need me and don't forget what i said yeah Dylan gives you one last look before slipping away bruno and valentina are deep in conversation they start laughing loudly that's hilarious valentina it's like they forgot i'm here how should i let bruno know i'm here i'm gonna sit beside him let's not be that girl bruno drapes an arm around your shoulder to have your back okay for the record i don't think anything's going on between bruno and valentina i think they're just friends i do think they're just friends but i would absolutely love to get in confirmation verbal confirmation from bruno that him and valentina are just friends because this is looking sus but he wouldn't cheat on me right right yeah what were you guys laughing about oh it's one of those jokes where you had to be there good thing i'm here Oh, it's boring. Don't worry about it. How was your date? I saw Dylan walk in with you. Bruno bites his bottom lip nervously. I thought he was your first date. Valentina are asking if I spent more time with Dylan. Oh, he was just waiting outside. Love the petty option there, though. Valentina purses her lips. Looks like Dylan's really keen on you. His presence is louder than he is. Actually, no. Both are pretty loud. And she gets super irritated every time he breathes near her. It's so funny seeing her face like that. Oh, yep, it makes me laugh. They really do enjoy each other's company. Bruno leans forward. So, how did your dates go? You're a very popular girl, Jade. Well, Oliver... How did my date with Oliver go? He's more of a friend. Bruno's smile grows, squeezing your arm gently. His tattoos are nice. I wouldn't mind him inking me up. And Dylan, how did that date go? What was my date with Dylan like? It was not for me. He's a bit boisterous. Yeah, I agree. He was a bit nervous, but he tried his best with me. Even tried to open my eyes to a few things. Oh yeah? Like what? Before you can answer, Tiffany barges in with a smile on her face. Angie, Dylan and Oliver follow behind her. I got a text. I got a text. What does it say? Islanders, you're all invited to a party tonight to get to know one another. Hashtag mingle single. Hashtag dance the night away. It's obviously being thrown to celebrate Dylan. Yeah, no. I think it's just a party. I'm really excited for this. Hey, Valentina, can you help me with that thing we were talking about earlier? Oh, that'll look great on you. Valentina and Bruno scurry off to the dressing room. Dylan shoots you a concerned look. Guess Valentina and Bruno have got rather close. But do I really think something happened between them? I'm not sure anymore. Angie watches you with a concerned look on her face. Hey, you wanna go get ready? That would be nice, yeah. Might be a good opportunity to get out of my head for a bit. You know, I'm here if you wanna talk, right? I know, I know, I just think I need a breather. I'm sure the party will be great for that. Great right, indeed, Angie. Do you think Valentina could lend me that mascara? I want my eyes to pop. Coming up on Love Island, look, I think we should spend the night apart. And things get a little messy. I'd be honored to squirt you, Jade. See you then. What? What's going on? Firstly, should we discuss this whole I want to spend the night away from you thing because I'm concerned? I reckon from Bruno's point of view, it would just be a I think you should get to know the people just to make sure we've actually got something. Thank you so much for watching everyone. I hope you enjoyed this part. If you did, make sure you subscribe, click the red button and you can also turn on notifications so you're guaranteed to never miss a single video. Thank you so much for watching everyone. If you did enjoy it, please do give it a like and I will see you in the next video. As you can tell, I am splicing everything up a little bit. We've got some season five stuff, X in the Villa. We've got some season four stuff, Bombshell. So I hope you're enjoying the mix of content and I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.